Isn't this going to be an incredible site for the new Exploratorium? The new location is within half a mile of every major transportation hub in the Bay Area, opening the new Exploratorium to thousands of more residents. And although this $300 million project won't be finished until 2013, it is already boosting San Francisco's economy. There are going to be over 900 jobs created from this two-year project, over $300 million in short-term economic impact to San Francisco, and then annually $28 million every single year. This project isn't only economically sustainable, but they also plan on being grid neutral, meaning all the energy the new building will use, they will produce on their own. With all of these exciting changes, there seems to be some things that will remain the same. Three. We will certainly maintain our focus on kids and the constant feeling of curiosity, learning, and creativity that makes our institution unique. But we believe we must also magnify our force in the movement to professionalize the K-12 through science and math teacher career path. This new expansion will also allow the Exploratorium's Teachers Institute to grow, which in turn will aid the young population that thoroughly enjoys attending their exhibits. The executive director of the museum hopes this will generate the brilliant minds that have come from the Bay Area in the past. Stopping everybody from being sort of passive consumers of other people's claims and become active investigators, thinkers, explorers uh, of their own questions uh, and deciders for themselves um, to be independent thinkers. Uh, and if there's one thing for me that characterizes San Francisco, it's that independent thinking. But there's one thing that most Bay Area residents aren't thinking independently about. Go!